Hey guys, Sean here from Fishing and Photography by Sean. Oh boy, it's cold. <laughs> so I came here. Um, this is the Washington DC uh, channel area. And uh, that's where the fish market is, on the other side of this uh, river. And um, I came here today for some catfishing. And I'm gonna use some uh, eel. I uh, went to this Asian store. Uh, buy some I think I bought like two uh, small size eel I asked the guy to not to wash it because I need the blood and have him cut about a year size big pieces so I have about uh, 10 12 pieces because I'm planning to fish for two days so I made sure that I had enough so I uh, I just set up all my rods uh, with the weight and the bait and everything so I'm gonna cast it out the weather supposed to be today. Uh, weather supposed to be today, not too good. I was told um, it's supposed to be like 13 or 14 miles an hour, uh, the wind speed. But uh, if you noticed, there's some structure over there, so I'm hoping that will help the wind to slow down a bit. So I should be a little bit sheltered over here. Um, that's why I didn't go to the Jefferson Memorial today, in front of Jefferson Memorial because it's kind of like an open, wide open space. So I figured this would be a better spot today. And because of all those boats over there, um, this place is really, really deep area. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, some monsters today. So let's see how it goes. This is one of the beefy rod. It's really strong. So I'm using four ounce uh, on this one. Four ounce left. Because it can handle it. The wind is already picking up some speed. Oh boy, here we go. Guys, not too bad, huh? A ah, nice little channel cat. All right, let's put him back in the water. Whoa. Oh, I think I think we got it. A nice one and I think it tangled up with my uh, with this line I did it all right guys I can't tell <clears throat> but I feel Excuse like this me. is a good catch so one of the problem I had a lot on that day was that um, my fish keep getting tangled it's just uh, 
tangled itself up with uh, yeah, other lines nice and one. several of the times I was able, uh, lucky enough to be able to actually untangle the line and get the fish out without any loss but you'll see in the videos many oh, many baby. times that I just couldn't do anything about it I was like so wrapped up with other line that I had to basically cut off the line and uh, waste lots of life it was uh, really painful for anymore. me but uh, I think one of the reason this there happened we was there was a now windy day so every time I casted it out it didn't it wasn't really a straight line it was you know uh, there were a lot of extra line in the water because of the wind and yeah, um, one. another problem is a lot of time too bad. when the fish fights and if you have uh, multiple rods it Come does on. tend to happen that they'll you know swim around and basically end up in the way of the other line and yeah, uh, <clears throat> third problem i think i had was that these guards day. they'll just they just oh, keep man. picking up my la uh, bait and then just run and then drop it so uh, even though oh, you think boy. that you had the line in straight out so it doesn't yeah, get in the way of the line. other line you'll see in the video many times that it's just that because of the gar, they pick it up, they drop it, they pick it up, they drop it, so it ends up being somewhere else. And that basically ruins the whole thing. So, just, you know, it's, it was really that. painful for me on that day. It was just too much. Wrap himself up. But what are you going to do, you know? Oh, man. Damn it. I hate this. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to say this is about 10 to 12 pounder. Not a bad fish. Stop fighting, buddy. Beautiful catfish. All right, let's go home. Come on. All right, so let me show you what I'm using today. This is basically cut eel. And uh, I went to this Asian store and uh, got me some pieces so let's see mmm look at that all right here's a nice piece make sure they don't wash it you need the blood all right so first thing you have to understand these are very very tough the skin is extremely tough you can't basically penetrate even though it's a sharp hook you still cannot penetrate and if it's so slippery that when you try to hook it you're gonna slip it slip and you're gonna hook yourself you don't want to do that you want to go through here the meat part which is a little bit softer so you go through here go as much as you want I'm gonna go up until here as you can see right there it's gonna come out ah see how tough it is and there it is that's what you're gonna get you a real really big catfish. <laughs> Look at that belly man. I have no idea what what he was eating. But he was eating good. He had lots of breakfast this morning. Alright buddy. Uh, looks like I have a fish on. Yeah, I have a fish on. I had one pull, then it kind of stopped, so I wasn't sure if it was a fish or not, but yeah, it's a decent six, seven pounder maybe. Oh no, did you wrap yourself around again with another line? 
Or maybe just this line. Uh, just this line. Okay, not too bad. That's manageable. I can manage it. No, no. He wrapped himself around it. Another line. Dang it. All right, same thing again. I got to figure this out. Smaller. I was hoping bigger. Head first, go home. Well, this one feels good. This one feels good. Yeah, this one feels nice. I hope it's a big one. I got lots of fish today, but none of them are big, as in like really, really big. On average. Let's see how this one does. Come on, buddy. He's fighting. Oh, he is huge. He's big. He's big. Oh. Big. Holy crap. He's huge. He's big. Yeah, he's big. That is a big fish. That is a big, big fish. He got it Would you here. please bring the net, please? Yes. The biggest one of the day. Hang on, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. He's not tired yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to get him tired. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that fish? That fish. Yeah, that's a blue cat. That's a blue catfish? Yeah. We're wondering what, what could be so darn big. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. You, uh, you have ro lots of big fish here. And this is my sixth fish today. Whoa. What time you get out of here? It's not even noon. I came here early, yeah. on like 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock, more or less. Are these bad boys or just catch and release? Catch and release. Oh, you're filming too? Yes. yes. <laughs> do it, do it. So you've got evidence. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, this, this Last weekend, I caught a 30 pounder. This is the invasive blue catfish. Yes, right? they are invasive, yeah. Oh, they are naturally I not ate, from here. I ate one a few weeks ago. There's a restaurant on Fridays that oh, really? serves Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, they're mainly from south. Um, Down south in that yeah, region. but they're doing really, really well over here. You're right, because they're. Potomac, no James no River, no packed no with no giant catfish. No. No, no, no. Like the they're okay. They're not that. They're, they're not problematic. Think you gotta kill yeah. It. yeah. Either kill it if you want to take it, or release it. You know. Well, they can't really force that. You know. So the best they can do is, if you have to carry it with you, make sure it's dead. Otherwise, you have to release it back. All right. I think now he's done. Head first. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Let's see. He's. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Yeah, he's. You want me to hold that? You hold that? Uh, careful, all right? Yep. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Yeah, this is a giant. That's gonna be at least 20, oh, 20 pounder at least. I'm gonna have to weigh him. Oh boy. Holy crap. I a big fat fish. And healthy too, look at the size of him. You can put him down, put the rod down. Yeah. He is really gonna be. How am I gonna get him out of there? Is that oh boy. For a hook out? Yeah, I do. Of his mouth. Oh boy. Eel. <laughs> and a piece of eel. They love it. Ow. Oh yeah, they got teeth, these guys. Oh yeah, see this? Dang. Did he oh. bit you? Yeah, he did. Oh, let's see. There we go. Hopefully, he's not gonna bite on me too hard. Oh, there we go. Hey, Quinny, get in there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's all right, I got it. Come on, buddy. All right, let's see. Let's find out. 20. Quinlan, stop it. Don't touch. No, 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 no. Put that down. That's not yours. I want to go fishing. 29. Wow. 29 pounder. Oh, sorry. Where did you go? Give me something. What? Oh. Yeah, you're getting something. Did the line move? If it's a catfish, you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> you'll know, trust me. He'll just keep on going. What they do is they basically swallow it real fast and then starts running. And as soon as they feel something weird, they'll just bolt. No stopping. So when he pulled it, I knew it was a big one because he was pulling really hard. But then I was like, probably not that big. But. Pull bigger than this out of here, huh? Oh, 47 pounder, my best. That's my child. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, let's go home. There he goes. There he goes. And, he, and he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone in the water all right guys holy crap so i finally got the biggest one of the day 29 pounder and uh, even the better part is there are some uh, folks down here they came here for biking and uh, there are three kids with them we saw in the video so while i was talking to them i got the second next fish and i actually uh, uh, had the kids to you know roll uh, reel it in i was holding onto the uh, rod and they basically reeled it in. I just wanted to, you know, have them have some fun. Um, so, I, but I forgot to record it though. So um, I have like part of it in the video, but overall, wow, they loved it. And I loved it too. It has been fantastic day so far. So I'm gonna be here for about another hour or so. The water is coming in and this place, I don't know if you can see them, there is water coming in, so it's gonna overflow. So I'm guessing that I have about an hour or so. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, fish number eight. I think I forgot to record the last fish where um, I asked the kids to reel it. And so this is the number eight fish. Actually, it's really nice. Oh. I wish they were here. I need the net. Man, look at him. Going crazy. He's not done. Come on, buddy. He's a really good sized catfish.
Uh, stop biting. All right, guys. This has been a fantastic day. I caught so many fish. I don't even know how many. I kind of lost count. Um, probably like 10, 9 or something like that. Uh, a great, great catfishing day. Biggest one being 29 pounder. Uh, I'm gonna head out now. I'm tired again, but happy at the same time. Really, really happy. It was really cold this morning and the wind makes it worse. Uh, the wind is still pretty strong. Uh, I believe the weather forecast was today like 13, 14 miles per hour. So even though I was kind of sheltered here, but still it didn't really make much of a difference. But I still caught fish. I still had fun. That's, all, that's what this is all about, you know? I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, alright? Thanks guys!